Hello everyone and welcome to Porterhouse Fallout 4 Mod Reviews. I'm your host Porterhouse and that's no bull. Alright folks, before we get started here I just wanted to let you know a few things. First, this is going to be a very short review with just one mod in it. Secondly, the reason for this is that I've hurt my shoulder pretty badly. I have what's called bursitis. Um, it was apparently caused by some trauma, but I don't have any specific memory of doing anything to my shoulder or arm. In any case, I have this painful swollen lump right on my shoulder joint that makes it difficult to use my right arm. That makes my whole arm hurt and cuts way down on my mobility to the point where my wife had to help me get dressed the other night. Uh, I have to be careful not to strain it for a while, and I have to put something cold on it every few hours. Now, even as I make this video, I gotta I have an ice pack on it so I can type and use the mouse. The final kicker is that over-the-counter pain meds barely help. So I've been taking some pills the doctor prescribed, and they make me really sleepy and relaxed. So in short, when I'm taking those, I'm stoned. Uh, now, I've stayed away from them for today so I can do this review, and hopefully I'll be coherent. Finally, at the end of the review, I will have a special request for you all, so please stay tuned. Alright folks, now on to the review. Today I have a settlement mod from Greek Rage. This is Fort Samson. This clever mod adds an island next to the Adam Cat's garage with an army base on it that can be made into a pretty dang nice settlement. The base includes a guard hut several barracks, an HQ, a diner, a motor pool, a lighthouse, and finally a pretty nice house that can be turned into a player home. Now despite uh, all that, it is still actually pretty bare bones and kind of clean, but if you're building a settlement, this is not a bad thing. Uh, except for scrapping a few uh, oddball things, it was uh, pretty neat, so I was able to turn it into a respectable settlement in just an hour or so. The mod author did a great job capturing the feel of a military base with rows of identical buildings and the overall military neatness of it all. I actually found it vaguely reminiscent of a U.S. Navy base where I was once stationed in San Diego. Now I'm going to show you a quick uh, slideshow of some of the base features and afterwards I'll give you my thoughts and critiques. Also, as I mentioned before, I will have a request for you all at that point. Okay, that's it for the slideshow. I just want to say right off the bat, I think Greek Rage did a fantastic job. I really love this mod, but there were a couple oddball things I, that I need to mention. First is that there's a cargo net on the side and back of the motor pool, and it clips through the walls when moving in the wind. Not a huge deal, but it did bug me a little bit. Also, there was a slight texture mismatch in the HQ building, which I only noticed because I had trouble hanging a picture on the wall. Part of it would, uh, part of the wall would clip through the picture, so that's why I noticed it. Finally, uh, the house on the settlement seemed a little bare bones, maybe a little too much. I liked the rest of it, but I think the house needed a little bit of pizzazz. But since it is a settlement mod, that is something we can do ourselves. That's it. It's really just little nitpicks. Greek Rage has done a truly fine job here, and I urge you to check out this mod and his other equally excellent settlement mods. If you download and enjoy it as much as I have, please remember to hit the endorse button and vote it up for File of the Month. Now, moving on to my request, um, my 500 subscriber video needs to be done soon. So I decided that a quick Q&A might be fun, so if you have a question, you can either put it in the comments uh, below, or you can email me at the address that I will put in the description. As always, if you enjoyed the vid, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not already done so. Once again, I'm Porterhouse, and I will see you all in the next mod review.